over the weekend i was lucky enough to go and dj at a very fun house party for a mutual friend uh called giuseppe um so natalia kind of hooked me up with him um also known as afro musa so um her alongside her husband uh we went down there and kind of set up and sort of like you know made sure that we put on a good night so i think we played there previously i think i might mention it a few times ago before like they um he lives in a house next to i think i'll say dawson not too far from dawson kind of like in between dawson and hacky central so uh, he has these yearly birthday bashes or parties in his house that are just incredible last one was halloween i think before that was something else and this one's just a new year i'm not sure if it's his birthday or whatever but he always has these really cool parties that he puts on right and it's always a theme so you do a different theme you'll decorate the house it'll be fancy dress or kind of you know had to get dressed up to some extent and the past couple of i've been to i had didn't really dress up this time around i did want to dress up because it was a pajama party so there was no excuse not to so i decided to go out to peacocks get a little crappy pj set that i bought for 15 pounds that's probably gonna you know rip into two once i throw it into the wash but you know say la vie and then um the job was then to get some equipment to go down there and that's part of the issue that i've kind of stumbled upon in terms of djing wise right so something i kind of want to address this year i don't necessarily have the equipment at the moment to kind of allow me to be the quote-unquote mobile dj or somebody that can kind of set up parties wherever it may be and sometimes put on parties wherever you want to put them so the plan at the moment is to get a pioneer xdj xz i'm pretty sure that, that's what it's called right i mentioned it previously already the pioneer i've got a pin here the pioneer xdj X, is it xdj xz or xdj rz okay it's the xdj xz i'm pretty no is that a four two channel one? which one is it rx2 or xz let's say the rx2 so there's there's these two there's three systems at the moment right okay on the screen all in one system from pioneer and if you know if you're not familiar pioneer is the premier the kind of industry standard brand for all dj equipment um if you're playing in clubs or bars around the world you'll know that most places have you know pioneer decks pioneer i mean pioneer decks pioneer mixers or at the very least allen and heath and maybe some other nondescript brands for the, for the most part everyone kind of you know has the industry standards of pioneers and you can, you know, for the most part, there's CDJ players that you can chuck CDs in, that you can burn, or you can more handily use a USB stick that you kind of load all your other songs on this app called Record Box, and then you kind of put your songs into the USB, plug that into the CDJ player, and you can kind of initially manipulate it through the big uh, platters that are on the top, sort of like a MIDI player, basically a MIDI player. Um, and in Pioneer, luckily, over the years, I think because the actual decks themselves the cdjs are quite expensive pioneer just realized that there was a gap in the market between what i have here which is a dj controller a little tiny one that just plugs into your laptop and then where something that could kind of allow you to practice on industry standard gear something you find in a club so it's got the same sort of slider length the same uh, size of platter the mixers fairly this fairly similar so they've kind of noticed that gap in the market and they just and they kind of make these all-in-one systems that basically work without the use of a laptop as long as you've got a USB stick that's got memory, that's got songs on them that you've kind of already synced up onto record box, so you've got quant quantize, you can kind of load them up into the decks, and then boom, you're ready to go. Um, and I've wanted one for ages, and I think for occasions like this, where we kind of played previously this weekend on um, in Dawson for Giuseppe's house party, it would be amazing to have like the ability to kind of rock up with a uh, industry standard equipment that you can just plug into a pair of speakers and you're ready to go. You don't need to take your laptop with you and all this sort of stuff. Just a, a nice set of speakers maybe an amp uh, to kind of make sure everything is rolling and then boom, you're you're on your way. So that's what I kind of want to get going forward. And I think this will, again, will be good for my home studio, be amazing for my home studio and also be amazing to allow me to play out in more places, especially around Stratford. There aren't that many bars in Stratford that have decks. For the most part, they might have turntables, if that. So we try to, so I would try to actually get us the opportunity to play in some bars and pubs around Stratford that have don't have the equipment but also have a PA system because a lot of them have because Stratford's old school in that way it reminds me of the you know back in the day where most part they have a lot of open mic nights so a lot of people go in there with their acoustic guitars and sing or with a little band a little covers band a little tribute band or just you know maybe go out there and do some stand up uh, so for everyone has a everyone usually has like a PA system that you can kind of plug into so you can uh, put the sound through the speakers of the actual bar and pub which is fine. So there's some sort of power output, but for the most part, it's the most basic of it's the most basic of setups. A few speakers, a few sonuses around the corner, around the 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 kind of corners of the room, 
and then the Spotify playing the music, which is, you know, it, I think does a job in Stratford for the most part. But now that Stratford is kind of getting a little bit gentrified and there's a whole new energy happening here, it would be great to kind of allow, it could be great to also kind of uh, take advantage of that and also have the ability to kind of play every week, right? A Friday or a Saturday, because these places, if we're able to play, if we're, if we're, if I'm, if we're able to do what I think we're able to do, I reckon a lot of these bars and pubs want us to come around more often. And again, this is the only, this is kind of the best way I think for me and for me and Natalia and for anybody else to kind of have the opportunity to have like a residency spot because it's hard to get one in London. It's hard to get anywhere. It's hard to find a, a bar or a club that isn't the bars and clubs that are like 250 capacity over that would allow somebody or that not even allow, that have the opportunity to space to have reg, new resident DJs in. Most of the places already have their people who they kind of used week in, week, month in, week in, week out, month in, month out. And it's a bit hard, it's a bit difficult to kind of go out there and get new DJs. Also, no one wants to take the risk of hiring somebody and then that guy or girl ends up being completely terrible, right? So they'd rather stick with people that they know. No, no biggie. But it's also hard to get into that. The other echelon of DJ clubs, like a place like Phonox or whatever, right? Or like an XOYO or like a, I don't know, whatever place you're talking about right because they would want a person that's probably a little bit more well known than i am has a bit more clout online maybe has more releases more social media engagement more followers blah 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 but the only way to get to that level is to have a regular spot so you're kind of left in this catch 22 spot so the best way to be to do it get some of these get one of these all-in-one systems some good active monitors or good active speakers sorry maybe an amp if i don't have the active speaker just to kind of control everything in general yeah i think you want one anyway right and then kind of go from there so anyway back to the party so this is the kind of dream i'm going to get i hopefully get the rx2 um very very soon once i save up some money and then you know that'll be the first part of the jigsaw the things i want to do so uh we rocked up there we set up the speakers earlier in the day and then we kind of came everyone we kind of came staggered in with our setup with our dj decks afterwards um i came a bit late because i ended up bloody oversleeping i was incredibly tired this weekend just just due, due to all the running and the working out and the going to work like again i forgot how it was to be like monday to friday properly working somewhere being actually engaged in the work that you're doing and then coming home and doing what i'm doing here podcasting recording a mix editing clips, putting stuff online, writing blogs, reading. It's a lot to do, right, outside of work. So I end up being really tired, I end up oversleeping. Um, so then I end up having to rush, get up, change quickly, put stuff in and just rush over to the house party. In my haste, I accidentally exploded one of my beer cans I had in my luggage. I accidentally exploded it, I think putting it into the uh, into the little suitcase I got. And luckily I caught it before it exploded all over my, all over my, uh, my, my what do you call it? my midi player but i end up saving that get into the party on time and then we end up kind of just dis absolutely destroying it and luckily uh natalia put up a video uh of what actually happened and so okay because i didn't get a chance to record any of it because i was too busy uh trying to make sure everything was synced up right and all my stuff was where it had to be but she put up a really cool kind of post kind of detailing the whole experience here I'll kind of throw it up on here and play some of it for you in the background for you to check out but it's a little post that she put up here um she was the following last saturday was so much fun playing at the blah 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 house for the da, 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 da. birthday party oh it was a birthday party okay my bad i didn't know these folks love to get down and enjoy loads of styles that we throw at them we transform their kitchen into a boiler room type uh space by bringing two Mackie speakers and our little Serato and Nevotion ne ne itch player to play the Swadi Pro Burger do. Sorry, it had to be the human laptop sending in transition between me and Agostino. Uh, controllers paired with Serato. Interactor are great for tight spaces. Uh, sometimes you can't uh, pack in your turntable to CDJs. You can explore huge ranges of music to mix quite quickly and take the crowd on an epic journey. They are also lighter weight, which makes it to put much easier in the Uber and office other equipment. Would love to own a Pioneer X DJ at some point, but itch is convenient and super nice piece of hardware. So yeah, here's a video of what actually happened. <laughs> Next video here, you see me in the background, skanking. <laughs> having a good time, having a whale of a time, man, yeah? Can you feel it? Just the fingers as you guys are on the show, well, all right? Another one. Check it out, I'm the CAN, the OVA, and the rest is FL. 
But yeah, fun times all around, man. Absolutely epic, epic, epic occasion. Obviously, there's a time has been holding the laptop like a human uh, laptop holder. But yeah, um, absolute good times, and I really enjoyed it. And again, just so good to, I think. You get to a position like myself where you're playing in local bars and pubs a lot, right? And you're like, oh, it's not, you don't feel like you're stagnating, but it's like, like I mentioned before, it's hard to make that jump from playing in bars and clubs locally and then making a jump to playing in places where there's people that are coming to see DJs, right? Because the place I'm playing in, people are not coming to see DJs. They're coming to have a drink, coming to have maybe a burger and a beer, right? They're coming to dance, they're coming to hook up with someone. They're not coming to see me at all, right? They could give a, they could give a, they could give a toss. So to make that jump from where I am to like the next place where people are actually coming to see a DJ, not me specifically, but a DJ, they don't mind, they want to come, come to have a dance. It's really difficult, especially in London, because there's everyone, everyone is a flipping DJ. I'm sure you could throw a flipping stone out the window right now and you hit someone that could, and that could, you know, that could tear down a club. Like really, legitly, that, that's the issue. Not that everyone's a DJ and they're horrible. Everyone's a DJ and they're bloody awesome. Like, I'm sure we did well there at the house party. I'm sure people are leaving there thinking, wow, those guys, they're really good, man. Do they play anywhere? It's like, nah, not really. Not anywhere you know. Do you know what I mean? It's all like local places. So the only way to kind of do it is to kind of, uh, the only way to kind of have those kind of fun nights where you get to play in front of a crowd that just wants to hear music and doesn't care about requests is to kind of do these house parties. But through the house party, you've got no people and blah, blah, blah. It's a whole big thing. So you can feel like you're stagnant. You can feel a bit like dead. And then sometimes, you know, you get a bit new lease of life. You come to, you kind of feel like, oh, wow, this is what I'm in it for. The love of the music, the dancing, the having a good time. And it kind of reminds you of just why DJing and dance music and electronic, uh, this is electronic music in general, just being a fan of it. Forget even us. Just imagine just being, imagine just rocking up to a house party and it being that good, right? There being good drinks in the fridge, good, uh, good people to hang out with, good chat. Do you know what I mean like that? That would be a dream. Usually, when you go to house parties and there's someone DJing, it's usually a couple of dudes or a whole gaggle of friends who don't wanna, who are only playing to themselves, right? They're not really playing to a crowd. They're not really trying to make everyone dance. They're just trying to, you know, out, you know, uh, they're just trying to out. Let me, what do you call it? They're just trying to out knowledge each other, right? It, they're, they're all kind of chin strokers trying to show each other how much knowledge they have on music, which you know is one thing, but to do it in a house party is a whole nother thing. But yeah, had a good time, enjoyed it, it was great, and I can't wait to do that kind of thing again, man. Like such a good time. And again it gives me a, a whole new uh bit of encouragement for my next set that I'm doing on the first of February at the Leighton Star. So if you're around definitely come down and see me play there. Leighton Star the first of February. I'll put the link down below in the show.